Today we're talking about a pair of audio smart glasses. If you are familiar with the Bose frames, those cost $200. These are not those. Arguably just as good and coming in under $100. Hey guys, it's Dan with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Like I said, these are audio smart glasses and these are from a company called Rocket. These are Rocket IQ Solos smart audio glasses. So what that means is they're basically a combination of sunglasses and a Bluetooth headset. But the reason why these will be great for us and our community, number one, a lot of us have photophobia, which means we are sensitive to bright light. So a lot of us are wearing sunglasses anyway. And a lot of us, myself included, constantly listening to audiobooks and even music. I'm not much of a music person, but I love audiobooks. So I'm always listening with headphones when I'm walking around outside. The problem is though, that it's really important for us to keep our ears open to the world around us. And that is definitely something you can do with these because they are open ear Bluetooth headphones. They're also pretty cool, pretty stylish. Got that Ray-Ban look. The glasses are using Bluetooth 5.0 and compatible with both Android and iOS. Basically, you could connect them to just about anything. IPX4 dust and waterproofing. So no problems with like sweat, things like that. You're not gonna wanna jump into a swimming pool with them, but they're gonna be okay in the rain. Interchangeable lenses. The ones that I have came with the polarized lenses, but they do have other options, including like blue light filters, things like that five hour battery life and a very unique charger that connects to each side and they connect magnetically, which is pretty cool. And there's a reason why they connect on both of them. We'll talk about that here in a minute. I'll let you know the price right away, $89 for these glasses. Hold on guys, let me jump in here real quick because I was wrong about the price. I just double checked and it's actually $79.99. And I even have a promo code you can use to get an additional 30% off the price. You can find more information about that in the video description down below. All right, let's get back to it. One button control, so it's super easy to use. And although it's one button control, there's a button on both arms. And the reason is also the reason why we have two chargers. You can actually just turn on one of the arms if you want to. For example, if I'm wearing them, I could just turn on the left arm here and have the music coming out of that one and control that left side, while the right side is quiet, no sound coming out of that. Or or if you want surround sound, you turn them both on. And then it doesn't matter which button you press to control both sides. That's a pretty unique feature that I haven't seen on basically anything else. Now, I said it's one button control and that's super convenient and easy to figure out, but you are a little limited on what you can do with the glasses. You can basically power them on, start and stop playback. If you get an incoming call, you can press to answer the call and then press again to hang up the call. The glasses do have a microphone on them, so you can take audio calls. Then if you press and hold the button, that will trigger your voice assistant on your smart device. So if you're on an iPhone, it's Siri. If you're on an Android, it's OK Google, which mine just triggered. Cancel. <laughs> and you see how well it picked it up. The microphone on this is really impressive. I was actually blown away when I did a phone call test. I was really impressed with how clear the audio is that the smart glasses microphone is picking up. So here's how the microphone sounds. All the audio you're hearing right now is coming from the glasses. Sounds pretty good, right? During my testing, I made a couple calls and everybody said that the call quality was pretty good. Yeah, all in all, the audio isn't too bad. I mean, you're not going to be doing any podcasting through the sunglasses, but for phone calls and all of that, no problem. Now, the sound quality of the music, or in my case, the audiobook coming out of the sunglasses was also pretty good. It sounded fine for me, especially an audiobook. No problem at all with the audiobook, but even music sounded okay. I didn't have any complaints. Obviously, the speakers in here just aren't big enough to give you any of that crazy big bassy sound that you would get with some high-end over-the-ear headphones. 
But I mean, that's not what we're going for here. These are convenient open ear headphones. And like I said, I thought it was pretty good for that. One interesting thing is that the sound seems to just kind of come out of the arms of the sunglasses. There's no like that I can see really speakers, grills or holes or anything like that. It just seems to kind of emit the sound, which is kind of cool. Pause, pressing the button pauses, pressing the button will resume. So yeah, not too bad. I mean, like I said, not the bassiest music in the world, but just wanting to casually listen to something on the way to work, on the way to school, out for a walk. Yeah, works great. The glasses themselves, as far as comfort, are pretty comfortable. I mean, nothing too crazy about that. It's a very soft matte black, at least the pair that I have here. Very smooth feeling, um, not slippery at all. Of course, one thing to note is that these are not a wraparound style. They're the Ray-Ban style, which means the front of the glasses is pretty flat. That means that it sticks off of your face, which means that the peripheral here is all wide open. Now, if you're someone like me that only has peripheral vision, that might not be the best. I'm not crazy about this style of sunglasses. I would much prefer a wraparound sport style sunglasses. So Rocket, if you're listening, if you're watching this, hook us up with some wraparound sport style sunglasses. So what is my opinion of the Rocket IQ Solo Smart Audio Glasses? I think they're pretty good. Judging by the ratings online, I saw like 36 ratings were all five star. So that's pretty good. A lot of people seem to like them. Now, it's not all pros. There are some cons. Number one, because they are open ear. And this is something I've mentioned in other videos about like bone conducting headsets and things like that is... If you do have open ear, it can be hard to hear the music in certain situations. Like I was walking down a very busy street trying to listen to my audiobook, and it was difficult to pick up some of the voices because there was just so much traffic noise and that sort of thing. The other thing is that most of us don't wear sunglasses all the time. So if I go out in the evening for a walk, and it's not sunny outside, I'm not going to wear sunglasses, so I'm not going to be able to listen to my music or my audiobook. That is, unless I'm kind of walking around with them on top of my head like this, which you can still totally hear everything when you're wearing it like this as well. But that's just something to keep in mind. Okay, guys, so if you would like to learn more about the Rocket Smart Audio Glasses, I will have a link in the video description. If I can secure any kind of discount codes or anything like that, I will have that also down there. Huge thank you to Rocket for sending these out so I could make this video for you guys. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. Also check me out on the website, www.theblindlife.net. That's it for this one, guys. Thank you as always, Sam with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time. I should wear sunglasses more often. Then I wouldn't get those comments, people saying I'm not looking at the camera. Like, I know, I know, I can't see the camera. That's why I'm not looking at the camera. <laughs>